last year, an unexpected weather event brought the mighty Dalton Highway to a grinding halt. Massive flooding. Last year, we started seeing some water showing up. We've never seen this before. In all the recorded history that we could find, there's never been a flood event like this on the Dalton Highway. This time, the state has mobilized a team of Arctic tough men and machines to combat the crisis. We don't normally do winter construction in Alaska. But we're hopefully staving off some uh, icing and flooding events for the spring. In these sub-zero conditions, it's safer to work while the sun is up. However, there are fewer than five hours of daylight this time of year, so time is of the essence. District Foreman Bill Bunch arrives early to deal with a big problem in the Alaskan Arctic. I've been in the construction close to 36, 37 years now. Been on the Dalton Highway here for 26. He uses a blowtorch to unfreeze his heavy machine and loosen up the fluids in moving parts. Yeah, I mean, we do get some guys that can't quite hack some of the things we do. They last a week or two, and then they go somewhere else. Well, I get her. Bill's excavator weighs in at 30 tons. It boasts a crane height of 20 feet and can lift more than seven tons, equal to about three standard size cars. These imposing tiger teeth don't come standard. The eight inch long, super sharp pointed claws act like big ice picks. The bucket can hold more than 300 gallons of water and ice per scoop, enough to fill four bathtubs. Trenching in the Arctic ice in winter is one of the most dangerous jobs that DOT undertakes. While the surface at the job site looks solid, rivers and streams lurk underneath. This right here is actually established river channel that if we were here in the summer, well, we'd be underwater. This 30-ton behemoth must traverse ice that is in some spots only inches thick. We dig a channel down through the ice until we hit that river channel. Now we can basically let all the off ice on top bleed into those trenches and get back underneath the ice through those river channels. 